Okay, so we're really ready now to get into some terminology with um, the way we're going to think about chords for jazz guitar. Um, we took the time to learn the note names on all six strings, and that's so important, and it becomes really important as we are looking at chord changes uh, as a guitar player. Now remember, your role as a guitar player is a dual role. You're going to be providing chord backgrounds for solos in jazz, and then you're going to be playing solos as well. So the first little bit here, we're going to talk about those chords and how we can really make those chords sound like jazz. Now, I want to introduce some terminology. Maybe some of you know this terminology already, but I want to make sure that everybody understands it. We're going to talk about the root of our chords a lot. Now, the root of a chord is the letter name associated with a chord. So if we see that we're working with a B flat chord, the root of that chord is the note B flat. Now, for all chords that we talk about, we're going to use the terminology root six, root five, or root four. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I'm saying when I say something is a root six chord is I mean that the, the root note, let's say it's a B flat chord, the B flat is going to be found on the sixth string. Now, we know that the B flat is found on the sixth fret of the sixth string. So if I say, hey, it's going to be a root six chord, you know right away that our root note is B flat, sixth fret, sixth string. Now, if I said it's going to be a root five chord, then that means the root of that chord is going to be on the fifth string. So a B flat found on the fifth string is all the way back here at the first fret. Okay? So a B flat in a root five setting would be there. Now a B flat for a root four chord would be found at the eighth fret. Now you've named all the notes and you should know where those notes are found on the fretboard. So, root six means that the chord name is associated with that note on the sixth string. Root five, that root name can be found on the fifth string. And a root four chord, it can be found on the fourth string. Okay? So, a good little assignment that goes with this is to just go through the 6th, 5th, and 4th string and name all of the various letter names. In other words, I might say, well, where are my B flats on the 6th, the 5th, and the 4th string? And I would go, oh, okay, I know B flat is right here on the 6th fret of the 6th string, it's on the 1st fret of the 5th string, and it's on the 8th fret of the 4th string. Find another note, G. Where are all the Gs? Where are all the Fs? Where are all the E flats? I want you to go through and practice doing that so that you're ready to learn root six chords when we come back in the next lesson. Good luck.